the weight of the pawpaw? Was it the perfect eating size? So that's a subjective thing. Rate based on the look and appeal of the fruit. So they're going to look at the whole fruit. They're going to look for blemishes. They're going to look for molds. They're going to look for a smooth surface. Those kinds of things. Then they're going to have the skin surface itself. Then they're going to rate the aroma. Sweet, tropical, fresh. Then they're going to look at the uh, skin thickness because one of the things that would help with the commercialization of the pawpaw is if it had a thicker skin, good fruit with a thicker skin. Then they're going to taste it. They're going to look for the what's so called front flavor. So the initial flavor is it is it fresh and pleasantly sweet? Excuse me, please. Sorry, I got distracted there. At least he wasn't the guy with the dirty bicycle hands who wanted to poke the pawpaws while they were coming in before. Oh. Then they're going to do the texture. So once they put it in their mouth, they're going to, whether it's a sweet custard-like texture, right? Then an aftertaste. So some pawpaws can have a bitter or a stringent aftertaste. Uh, then they're going to look at the seeds. Fewer seeds is better, right? So that's the criteria. Everything gets rated on the one to five scale with five being exceptional, one being lacking, right? And once we get all this stuff done, then I'll tally up all the results and I'll get back to you in about an hour with the results. Okay. Yeah. So 